You don't default on gold or silver physical in your possession. No counterparty risk. That's the safest thing that you can do. And is there any possibility of contagion considering the fact that we are all incestuously intertwined? Uh, yeah. You will see this go around the world, just like you saw synchronized central banks before. Now we've got this divergence in interest rate policies. You're going to see a synchronized, most likely outcome. Precious metals like gold and silver have been traded for millennia and can be considered a safe form of wealth investment. Unlike some forms of investment, which are not country specific, gold and silver can be traded anywhere in the world. Gold and silver are real, tangible, touchable goods whose market price is known. Precious metals can't default or go bankrupt, don't need boards of directors, and are not subject to as much manipulation as other investments can be. In today's video, we're going to share why Lynette Zhang says that we don't default on physical gold and silver. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update. The Federal Open Market Committee, the Fed's decision-making arm, had been wondering how much and how quickly to raise its benchmark interest rate in the coming months to combat inflation. The stakes are high for the American economy, consumers, and businesses. The prospects of accelerated rate increases due to inflation has pushed financial markets down more than 6% since June 10th report. Investors are concerned that the Fed could slow the economy too much as it struggles to reduce inflation, which, if left unchecked, also poses serious problems for consumers and businesses. Policymakers often have to prioritize one or the other. When the economy is weak, inflation is usually subdued and the Fed can focus on keeping rates low to stimulate investment and increase employment. When the economy is strong, unemployment is often quite low, allowing the Fed to focus on controlling inflation. And this is also what happens with gold. They remove the price, they suppress the price of gold, and then, when all confidence is lost, they take fiat money and they take gold money and do an overnight revaluation. There's an artificial demand for dollars everywhere, which helps support the dollar. But as the dollar strengthens against other currencies, people earn dollars in the United States. In Argentina, they earned in pesos. And if their currency weakens against our currency, that creates a big problem for them, just because they're not making dollars. The Fed is trying to win the public's confidence by raising interest rates. And they tell us that raising interest rates is going to stop the inflation that they've been causing with all this money printing since 2008. This whole fiat currency scam game is built on trust, and the trust is gone. That is what this high level of inflation is doing. We're beginning to wonder if these central banks that have these weapons and money printing machines are fueling the current inflation because it is made public. The Fed wants us to believe that it is raising rates, but if we go ahead and look at what's happening now and what's happened in the past, we don't think it's going to work. But if they can't control inflation, or at least begin to lower it at the gas station, which could be happening because people stop buying gasoline or at the grocery store, which isn't going to slow down. If they can't control it where we see it day in and day out, then that trust is gone. And once all his confidence is lost, we will also see hyperinflation in this country. We're already in the early stages. Planning is absolutely essential. No one has a strategy or lives only for the moment. Food becomes the biggest problem. But when we have a good base of money, like this fiat, money is useless. This is what will put us in a great financial position, but we need everything else. That's why we go beyond gold and silver to help us get everything else too. We see central banks raising interest rates to combat this inflation that they created with all their money printing. So we're going to see a wave of defaults. Why don't we have something that doesn't have counterparty risk? We do not default on physical gold or silver in our possession. No counterparty risk. It's the safest thing we can do. No counterparty risk. Everything else is all counterparty risk. When all confidence is lost, they take this fiat money and they take the gold money and they do an overnight revaluation. They'll do it as many times as they can keep your confidence. Nobody has a strategy. Get a strategy. The guys at the Fed have a strategy. The guys in the White House have, have a strategy. You need one too. Because truthfully, you can't just live in the moment. You're going to end up in abject poverty. Food becomes the single biggest issue. But when you have a foundation of good money, as this fiat money goes to nothing, that's what's going to put you in a great position fiscally. But you need all the rest. 
That's why we do Beyond Gold and Silver to help you get all the rest too. That's all for today. Let us know your views in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video before leaving. Thanks for watching.